Hawaii, known for its stunning beaches, beautiful landscapes, and rich culture heritage. Visitors can enjoy various activities like snorkeling, hiking, and experiencing traditional Hawaiian culture. As cool as it might seem to vacation in Hawaii, the impact of tourism on native Hawaiians is a complex issue. While tourism brings economic benefits and job opportunities, it also poses challenges for the local community. Some concerns include the commodification of Hawaiian culture, the displacement of native Hawaiians from their ancestral lands, and the strain on natural resources. First, let's ask, what is tourism? Although tourism is a widely known phenomenon nowadays, it's unclear what it is or when this concept started. The current definition is travel for pleasure, but that's a very flexible concept. The influx of modern tourists in Hawaii started when steamboats became accessible for transport, and since then, people from all over the world have come to the Hawaiian Islands and the tourist industry has grown to become the main economic contributor. Socially, Native Hawaiians must commodify their way of life in order to appeal to tourists. Hula was deemed a vulgar ritual and outlawed in the 19th century, though it was acceptable to perform hula as a tourist attraction. Sustainable tourism practices like supporting local businesses, respecting the local culture, and involving the community in organizational and political decision making may help lessen the effects of tourism on the native Hawaiian population. Tourism affects Hawaii environmentally through excessive land and resource consumption and through waste. Tourism agencies and hotels divert and consume limited water and resources. They also cause pollution and contaminate natural bodies of water. Water shortages are a prevalent problem in the homes of locals. A poll was done and only about half of all tourists understand and respect the culture and land, while Hawaiians agreed that the environment is more important than economic benefits. The lack of economic diversification is also a prevalent problem. This leaves local communities vulnerable to any sudden changes. The single largest source of private capital for Hawaii's income is tourism. Although this does benefit the state by representing approximately a fourth of the state's total economy and providing hundreds of thousands of jobs, this, these statistics don't take into account the impacts of tourism on Native Hawaiians and their way of life. This directly impacts the way of life for indigenous people of the land and keeps them dependent on outside spending, furthering them from their traditional ways and economic systems. To better understand the community's consensus on these issues, we sent out a Google form to our peers, friends, and families and took some interviews. For how they believe tourism affects local and indigenous communities, out of 45 responses, 28.9% of the individuals strongly agreed that tourism negatively affects indigenous communities. 31.1% of individuals somewhat agree, 24.4% were neutral, 11.1% of individuals somewhat agreed that tourism positively affects indigenous communities. And lastly, 4.4% of the individuals strongly agree that tourism positively affects indigenous communities. For how do they believe that tourism affects local economies? Out of 45 responses, 11.1 agreed that tourism hurts local economies. 11.1 somewhat agree that tourism hurts local economies. 35.6% of the individuals were neutral. 24.4 agreed that tourism benefits local economies, and 17.8% of individuals strongly agree that tourism benefits local economies. For how do they believe tourism affects the environment, 44.4% of individuals strongly agree that tourism negatively affects the environment, 33.3% of individuals somewhat agree that tourism negatively affects the environment, 15.6% were neutral, and 6.7 of the individuals strongly agree that tourism pos positively affects the environment. After surveying many of our peers, friends, and families, we moved on to interview local Native Hawaiians. Okay, can I get your name? Uh, Fred Silva. And then would you say you identify as Native Hawaiian? Yes. Okay. 
Do you think that Hawaii's current system of tourism is ethical? Yes. Okay. If yes, why? Because Hawaii has no local economy, so it is dependent on tourism. We have no ma manufacturing industry. We have no agriculture industry that can sustain itself for export and comp com compete with anywhere like Mexico or uh, Asia or anything like that. What do you feel about tourism socially, economically, and environmentally? So economically, Hawaii depends on tourism to make its economic run. Mm -hmm. um, socially, I'm pretty neutral. I think in many cases, most people come here with respect to the island and uh, native Hawaiians or local people, we get upset when they do what things that we call dumb, but <laughs> literally it's because probably they just don't understand or are not educated yeah. towards it. Okay, and when, what about environmentally? Environmentally, I think that their impact is uh, minimal. Um, I actually think we do more damage than the tourists do, mm -hmm. um, simply because they are here just for a week or two at a time. Um, mm -hmm. We have hotels, hospitalities, and things like that to take care of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your name and do you identify as Native Hawaiian? Uh, my name is Jordan, and yes, I do. And do you think tourism is ethical in Hawaii? Um, no, I do not. Um, socially, I think there's already a stigma between what we call Haoles and I feel like there are some respectful people who come and visit, but majority of the time they're not properly educated on how to treat the Aina and that comes across a certain way to us and there's just this view that majority of us Native Hawaiians have towards people who visit the islands. For our action plan, we attempted to reach out to multiple advocates and businesses through social media and other outlets, but were unsuccessful. We opted to instead hand out pamphlets to raise awareness at the individual level. Hi, my name is Asmaya. I'm from the Social Work 1025, and our sustainability project is on tourism in Hawaii. Please aspire, please like to Thank you. The pamphlets had information on supporting sustainable and local run businesses within our community, especially among other students at HPU. Our end goal with this project is for Hawaii to be able to develop more sustainable tourism in the future, which means taking more incremental steps towards that goal. Hopefully, through more support in sustainable and local run businesses, we hope to build up the economy in the local sector so that we will be able to separate ourselves from a solely tourist-based economy. By raising awareness of these issues in Hawaii, we employ multiple SDG pillars. We hope for Native Hawaiians to be able to support themselves financially and celebrate their culture without needing to rely on tourism to exploit their ways of life. This touches upon reduced inequalities and good health and well-being. A few others we touched upon are by promoting small businesses and reducing waste. Number 12, responsible consumption and production. This then goes hand in hand with number 11, sustainable communities and cities, and number 17, partnerships for goals.